question is, what are you willing to endure? Ask yourself this question, what are you willing to endure? Can you really take when people accuse you falsely? Can you really handle that? Can you really take criticism, whether it be constructive or negative, can you really take that on the way up to abundant life? Can you really, or are you going to fly off the handle when somebody says something about you that has no validity, but others are believing it as if it were true? Can you endure when hell breaks out on the job, at home, children that you raised, you brought them to church every single Sunday, you prayed over them, you cried over them, you asked God, do this, do that, do this, do that, and all of a sudden they get to a certain age and they start making decisions that are contrary to what you thought they would make. Can you endure that? I'm preaching now. Can you endure when people that you were walking with that said, we'll never leave you, we've got you all the way, they turn their backs and walk away from you and leave you seemingly by yourself to handle this situation. What can you endure? Just came from church, got the phone call. Now my in-laws, are their bodies are reeking with cancer. What can you endure? That's why when people cry sometimes, there's a story that's being told in their tears. Scripture says this, I want to encourage the, the body of Christ. The scripture says this, if you cry by yourself, don't worry about it. We have a great high priest who can be touched by, 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 by the feelings of our infirmities. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may find mercy and grace to help us in the time of need. Listen, I don't need a lot of people in my life to console me. If I can find my way to Jesus, if I can get to the throne of God, I can find mercy to help. Uh, I'm, I'm going to need some more help up here because I'm, I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. But, but you got to watch. What, what can you endure, church? You know that God is building us up and Christians are asking God for more strength. But you know that you don't get strength unless there's some resistance. Boys in high school would ask, how much can you bench? Am I talking right, fellas? How much, how much can you press? I like that. How much can you press? Well, that's the question I asked the church. How much can you endure in life? And I'll give you a little secret, a little tidbit, God will never give you. There was a point in my walk with the Lord before we talk about joy, I actually thought that this was it in my life. I actually thought this was it. And I look back and I realize something. That even when your back is against the wall and even when you're making crazy decisions and you think it's over, because there's an assignment on your life, this too. Oh, come on. You, you better change your seat and sit right over there because when you look at the situation and you can assess it that the devil had me on the ropes and I don't know what the count was. I'm not a boxer. I don't know what it was, but I think that I'd hit the mat and I think I heard the referee. He was about at six, but I think I heard God say, get up. You are better than this. I don't know if you heard that in your life. Come on, come on. I don't know. It looked like it's over, but I heard God say before he said, I heard God say, get up. What, what was I doing? I took some sniffing salt. I, I sniffed the word and the word told me that I'm more than a conqueror through him that loved me. The word told me that you can do all things. The word told me that you are already an overcomer. So I got up and dusted myself off. And I told life I'm not going to die here. I told life I'm not going to die here. All right. You know why the enemy was trying to kill some of us? Because the next composite in life is joy. Weeping endures for a night.